Good morning, my lovely students. So today we're gonna be learning a new lesson, and I hope you figured it out because it's written on the slide. But before we read our new lesson's title, just a reminder, of course, as every day, I want you to grab some papers and pencils and write the day and date. I'm gonna wait for you. Okay, great. So now. What I want you to do is, let's say, clap your hands three times and say, you're ready for math. Okay, how many times did we clap, I said? All right, three. One, two, three. So, after we've done that, let's read the title of our lesson. Problem Solving Strategy, Write a Number Sentence. Now, after that, We've read our new title for the day or lesson for the day. As you heard, that we're gonna be writing a number sentence. And also, we're gonna be solving a strategy. There's gonna be a solving strategy. So, this is now our objectives for the day, and it's that we can write a number sentence to solve our problems. Now to the mental math, of course, nothing to do here really, except that you need to plus and make sure that you're using the mental math and using our strategies for the day. Okay, so here are our directions and to also learn the strategy. So number one, or step one, is to understand. You need to underline, oops, sorry. We, we need you to underline what you know and to circle what you need to find. So what's underlined is what you need to know and what's circled is what you needed to find. Of course, you have to circle what you need to find and underline what you've already known. For our second plan or second step is that we need to plan. Or how will you solve a problem? Now that's the second plan. Number three is to solve it. So you have to write the number sentence, pick 24, put, place it, minus, of course, how many are now on the flower. You see, let's read our problem solving. Let's call it that, problem solving. Let's read it together. So. There are 24 bees on a flower. 15 bees flew away. How many bees are now on the flower? So, they said how many now? 15 bees flew away. So what we're going to do is we're going to add 24 first because it's the number that came in first. And we're going to add minus because they say they left or flew away. And then we're going to add 15. And now we're going to just minus. So let's say 24 minus 15. So the number above 40, 40, for example, bring the 15 down here. And let's say 4 is very is smaller than 5, so we'll have to borrow from the number 2. Let's cut number 2 and it will be 1. So now we have 14 minus 5. Now, I'll give you some time to think, what is 14 minus 25? Oh, sorry, 5. I'll give you some time. I'm giving you time. Just don't worry. Because I know this is kind of a hard question, so you don't need to worry. Let's say. As we said, 14 minus 5. Do you want to know the answer now? You're right. It's 9. Because 1 minus 1 is 0. So we don't need to add the 0. All we need is to add the 9. And how many bees were left? 9 bees. See? Now we have task options. Of course, there are three tasks. 
and if you want you can solve all of them as challenging yourself if you understand the lesson two if you halfly understand and one if you don't really understand but if you are a bit too immature so for our first task is that i want you to write the sentence the number sentence to solve there are 25 ants in the in an anthill and 13 ants left how many ants are there now just like the same way we said here you can do it in task one what's supposed to be here what's supposed to be here and what's supposed to be over here let's move to task two now here in task two or in the second task what i want you to do is to write a number sentence to solve same as task one so yeah let's read the question together this morning there were eight lions in the yard at the zoo this afternoon there were seven lions in the yard zoo how many lions left the yards so we're gonna add 18 first minus 7 equals the unknown and for the final task is a test practice now let's read the question Karen took a walk on the beach and counted 25 sand cantles castles but on the way back she counted again but some were gone there were only 16 left how many had disappeared while she walked okay after that now thank you so much for listening and i hope you have followed the instructions for each task and answered them all and then just upload your answers in your portfolio on ClassDojo. Thank you so much and have a great day.